create a section view of my part. I can create the section view in the part drawing or in the part itself. To create it in the part, I can pre-select the plane I wish to use for the section view. This plane cuts through the middle of my part. I can then select section view. I can flip the direction it's looking with the button. I can change to one of the standard planes or clear my selection here and choose another plane from my features. If I wish to save this as a view, I can import into a drawing. I'm going to click Save. Turning on the view orientation will make it a selectable view orientation here. And turning on the drawing annotation view will save it as section view BB in this case. If I want it to be A, I can switch it to A up here or C or AA. I'm going to select Save. If I undo the section view, I go to my view menu. It's now a view I can choose. And if I go back to my part drawing, and click on the view palette. I can now import this view. So I can drag and drop my section view that I just created onto my drawing sheet. And I've created a section view. I can also create the section view here in the drawing sheet. This time I'll create a section view of my front view. I'll pre-select the view. Go to the View Layout tab, select Section View. I want to choose my cutting line style. I'm going to choose a basic cutting line for now. I'm going to come out into my drawing, lock it to the center or the midpoint of this line. Once again, I can change the line style. I'll accept it. The Section View window will open up, allowing me to choose parts not to have cross hatching through. For now, I'll let everything be cross-hatched and say OK. Move my mouse over, click and place the view. And again, just like in the part, I can change the lettering here, flip its direction, and set up various basic options.